Hey guys, Tim here with part 6 of our PHP MySQL forum tutorial series. Uh, in this part we're going to implement the email sending script so every time someone replies to one of your topics all the um, users that are involved in that topic will be sent an email saying that someone has replied. So right here in post reply under, or post reply parse.php right where we have our little comments says email sending we're going to start uh, typing out our code first thing we need to do is we're going to query the database and we're, we're going to say select post underscore creator from posts where category underscore ID is equal to CID and topic underscore ID is equal to TID. And then we're going to say group by post underscore creator. I'm going to go ahead and query that out. Or die. Okay, now we're going to say while row 4 is equal to the MySQL fetch underscore associ of our result, we're going to do this. Now inside of our while loop, we're going to create an array called user IDs. And make sure these are square brackets right here and not parentheses. We're going to put period equals dollar row four of post underscore creator. Now exit our while loop. And under that, we're going to put a for each loop. And we're going to say user IDs as key. Now with inside the for loop, we're going to do another query, and we're going to say select ID and email from users where ID is equal to dollar key, and we're going to say and forum underscore notification is equal to 1. I'm going to say limit 1. Which that will do is it will select a post creator which is a integer within our database and it will go ahead and select the ID of that user and the email address from that user depending on which key is run through the script. Go ahead and qu query that out. or die, mysql underscore error. And then we're going to say if num rows or mysql underscore num rows of our result variable is greater than zero. We're going to do this with inside of our if statement. We're going to say dollar row five is equal to mysql underscore fetch associ of our result. I'm going to say if row 5 id does not equal dollar sign creator we're going to run this inside of here. I'm just going to say email dot equals dollar five or I'm sorry dollar sign row five email and then we'll say period and then we can cat append a comma and a space to the end of that. 
Okay, so basically what this is doing is it's running through uh, each user ID that's stored within this array and it's going to draw out the ID and email from that user. So it runs through and if our ID field of our user does not equal the creator's user, which in this case the creator is our session ID, so basically if the user so basically it will select the any user that is not the current user that is posting if that makes sense. And it's going to store it inside an email variable and it's going to sort of just put it like this so when it's going to post each time it's going to say admin at blah.com and then it's going to go like this with a space and then the next one that runs through will be admin at tim.com like that and so on and so on so it's going to add all the email address with a comma after it okay so that's what we're doing there now after our while loop here right above our if statement we're going to just say dollar email is equal to the substring of our email variable comma we're going to say start is zero and we're going to put parentheses string length of dollar email minus two close off our parentheses comma so what this will do is we're appending a comma and a space at the end of our email variable right here. So what this will do is re we'll remove the last two characters from our email variable and it will clean it up so we can send emails without a blank email address at the end. So now we need an email script. So the script I'm going to be using is over here at my website timkiptutorials.com. So I'm going to go down here to study PHP. I'm going to go to working with emails using PHP mail to send emails. And I'm just going to grab the simple text email code right here. It also can allow sending of HTML emails, but I'm just going to grab this code right here. Actually, within the PHP blocks. So I'm going to do that. Copy and paste that over into our code over here. Tidy this up a little bit. Okay. So, to email address, we want to make sure that this is a fake email address. So we're just going to say no reply at somewhere.com. You can put whatever. Now, from is going to be your email address from your site or wherever you want to say. So mine would just be admin at timkiptutorials.com and we're going to need to add a line here I'm going to say dollar sign BCC for blind carbon copy and we're going to say equals our email variable S since we are need to send out blind carbon copy so people don't see whose email addresses are being sent to and so forth like that our subject is just going to say form reply something along those lines blah 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 so our message we just say someone has replied to a topic you were a part of and then we can provide other content in there if you want to use HTML formatting for your emails you can send them a link back to your topic stuff like that now in our headers here from we're just gonna it's gonna pass in from our uh, email you specify up here and reply to is gonna be the same one last thing we need to do right under our headers here I'm gonna add another header variable to that and we're going to say print double quotes we're gonna say backslash R backslash N and then we're going to type capital B under lowercase cc colon curly brace and then end the curly brace and our double quotes semicolon inside the curly braces we're just going to put our a blind carbon copy variable 
BCC. Okay, so that will send out your emails, and that will do it. So basically what we have is we've selected the post creator ID from post, so all the users that have been in this topic, grouping them by our ID numbers. Uh, it's going to put all the user IDs into a, an array here, and then we're going to filter through the array and select ID and email from the users where the key is equal to the ID of the user and they have forum notifications equal to one which if you remember when we set up our database in part two we added uh, forum notifications with a default value of one to our uh, users table. Clear that out, it's going to run through if there are email addresses that have been returned it's going to run them to check to see if they're not uh, the person that is posting. If they are not, they're going to add the email addresses to a variable uh, with a comma and a space at the end. And then after all that's done, we're taking the email variable with a long string of email addresses and we're removing the last two characters so it does not have the ending um, comma and space. And then we're just going to simply run our email script here to no reply at somewhere, blah blah blah, your from address, and then the blind carbon copy is all of the email addresses subject, your message that you want to send to the user, and then we have our headers down here, from, and then we have our blind carbon copy, and then we send out our email down here using our mail function, and we're good to go. So that's it for part six. Uh, there may be a part seven. If you have noticed on my website here, I do have a little note saying that the forum series will be available on DVD pretty soon. Uh, I will be selling the $4.99 uh, US dollars, um, not including shipping prices. Um, I will let you know when that will be available for purchase. Um, there's going to be a couple extra things available on the DVD, how to integrate Tiny MCE, um, because that was one of the requests in uh, the forums here. Um, so we'll be showing you how to do that. And also we're going to go through and we're going to convert all of the ID numbers that are printed out into the actual username of the user that posted. So if you can see down here, it, does, it doesn't say by a certain number, it says a username. So we're going to do that. And also we'll be going through and we will be creating a function that counts the number of topics and we'll be changing our replies section there and we'll be adding our last poster section right there. So a couple things are going to be added to the forum tutorial series that are not going to be on the website. They will only be available for download from my site when I get the DVD all made up and I create the store and all that stuff. So within the next couple weeks or so I'll have that all up and running. I will make a video and post it on YouTube when everything is all set and going. And I hope to hear from you soon. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.